Every year, we like to choose some of our favorite laptops and tablets that you can give as gifts. And I think 2021 is a particularly special year. We've got new hardware from Intel, AMD, Nvidia, and even Apple. These days, even the basic iPad can be a really useful productivity device. And there are just so many gaming laptops that can fully replace a desktop for many people. We've also got the introduction of Windows 11 this year, which makes it a good time to get somebody a new computer because older PCs won't be able to run that OS at all. Now, if you've been following our coverage over the last few years at all, you probably won't be too surprised by my first choice, and that's the Dell XPS 13. We've loved this computer for years. It's been among the best Windows Ultra portables that we've ever seen, and it just consistently gets better and better. The design hasn't changed much since last year, but that's not a bad thing. It's still really thin and light, has really great build quality, and the very thin screen bezels around the display, I think are just among the best that you can get in the industry. You can also equip the XPS 13 with Intel's latest 11th generation processors this year, and also OLED, so that's really useful for somebody who needs a very bright and color accurate display. Um, you've just got a lot of options to choose from. You could probably get a decent deal for last year's model with 10th gen Intel chips as well, so that's always useful if you're trying to save a couple bucks. And if you're looking to give something that's a little larger, uh, the XPS 15 is still a fantastic productivity laptop. It has a bigger case, of course, and a much bigger display. That means it can fit in better hardware, um, certainly faster chips and GPUs, which is useful for people who are doing some heavy duty work. Check out our review of the XPS 15 OLED edition to see just how great that screen is. On the Mac side, we're still gonna recommend the MacBook Air. That hasn't changed at all since last year, and I don't think that's a huge deal. The M1 is still a very powerful chip for you know, a computer this size. It is completely fanless, so it won't make any noise once it gets working, and it has very, very good battery life. It's also powerful enough to play every single Apple Arcade title that's out there. It'll handle the basics of productivity work, so it makes a really excellent gift. Since it's a bit older, you can also find the MacBook Air M1 on sale quite often, so that makes it a really smart gift choice. And if you want to gift an Apple product, but you can't go all the way to a whole new computer, the basic iPad model is still very good. And honestly, kudos to Apple for continuously making this machine better and better every year. It now has an A13 processor. It ships with double the memory as it did before. So the $329 model now comes with 64 gigabytes of storage, while the $479 model comes with 256 gigabytes. So that's a lot of space. That's more than enough storage to fit every episode of Bluey and several seasons of Sesame Street. You know, the stuff that will help you survive a very long car trip. And sure, the design hasn't really changed much, but that really doesn't matter at this point. Um, it's still a very capable tablet, and you can also equip it with accessories that make it more suitable to kids. Uh, there are a whole bunch of kid-friendly cases that just make it a lot tougher. Another great tablet option is the Amazon Fire HD 10. We've always liked these laptops because they're very capable while not costing too much either, so it's a good balance of practicality and utility while also not really breaking the bank. This year, the Fire HD 10 is a bit faster, has 50% more memory, and it has a slightly brighter screen too. It just really excels at the basic things you'd want a laptop to do. So, you know, watching video, binging on Netflix, and maybe playing a few games too. Its low price makes it a really good option for kids, and even for younger kids, there are also models that are specific kids editions that'll offer worry-free replacements and slightly stronger cases. So keep an eye out for those too. Now, if you wanna be somebody's absolute favorite this holiday season, you could just gift them the Razer Blade 15, which has consistently been one of our favorite gaming laptops. You could pretty much take all the praise we've given this computer over the years and just roll it into this new model. It still has a gorgeous unibody aluminum case. It has the fastest hardware around, including Intel's latest chips and up to Nvidia's RTX 3080 GPU. And uh, you know, it's just very nice. It's very elegant. It is the equivalent of what a MacBook Pro would look like if it was an absolute gaming monster. There are also a lot more screen options this year too, including 1440p display options. I really like those because they're sharper than 1080p screens, but they're not as intensive as 4K screens if you're trying to run a game natively. Uh, for gamers, that just means you can actually get a decent amount of performance, um, you know, without breaking the bank like you used to. And if you're looking for something slightly more portable, the Razer Blade 14 just came out this year and it's also a fantastic machine. It has an AMD processor and Nvidia's latest graphics. We reviewed it, so be sure to check that out. I'm a big fan of it. Another solid gaming gift option is the Asus Zephyrus G15. 
Now, it's a good option for a gamer who wants something maybe a little more flashy than the Razer Blade, and it's also available in many different price points too, so you can often find them cheaper than what the Razer Blade starts at. Basically though, what I really love about the G15 is that it just does everything you'd want a good gaming laptop to do. It has AMD's latest processors, Nvidia's latest GPUs, has a solid keyboard, excellent screen. Uh, there's just so much going on with it that I just really like it as a complete package. The only thing it doesn't have is a webcam, but I think any aspiring streamer will be using a webcam that's external anyway, so that's not gonna be a huge deal unless you do a lot of video calls. And if you're looking for a good option for maybe a student or a younger kid, consider a Chromebook. The best Chromebooks are cheap, sturdy, and you know, powerful enough to handle basic schoolwork and office work. Acer's Chromebook 512 is one of the better options today. It has a spill resistant keyboard. It has a very sturdy uh, case, which is great for being tumbled around. It also has very strong keycaps that can resist being pulled off very easily. It's Intel Celeron N4000 chip isn't the fastest around by far, but you know, it's enough to do some decent Google Docs work, do some web browsing. It's certainly enough for a kid to take the classroom and just follow along during the day. And I think best of all, it's really inexpensive as well. It's around 200 bucks. So it's not a big deal if a kid ends up destroying this somehow. And another option I'm just going to throw out there in terms of like a great overall computer for school and for office work is the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4. We've always liked the Surface Laptop line and you know it's better than ever this year. It has faster processors of course. What I really like about it is that it's basically a very complete package. It has one of the best keyboards on the market. I really wish more PC makers would kind of adopt what Microsoft is doing with this keyboard. In general, the Surface Laptop is just like a very attractive and sturdy machine that I think would make anybody happy if they got it as a gift. This year, the 15 inch model also packs in newer AMD processors, which uh, you know can let somebody do a decent amount of Overwatch gameplay if they want. Hopefully these choices will help you narrow down your gift options, but we also review a ton of laptops and tablets over in Gadget, so check out the rest of our reviews if you wanna hear more. If you dug this video, be sure to like and subscribe.